a 1989 arcade release from legendary game developer Taito, Camel Tree is a game where you have to guide a marble through a maze to the goal point within the time allotted. Using the paddle or knob control scheme, you do not actually move the marble around, but rather you're rotating the entire maze itself in an effort to manipulate said marble to its end point, all the while avoiding penalizing panels and any collisions that might impede your progress or slow you down. When you start the game, you have the option of picking from four courses, training, beginner, expert, and special. As the names imply, each of these courses vary in difficulty and number of boards, with the training course providing a bit of a tutorial on how to play the game. And of course, you get a different ending for each of the four courses you defeat. Your ultimate goal is to guide the marble to the end of the maze in the fastest time possible, and this usually means having to move the maze around so that the marble can go through the hollow howls unabated. Along the way, it'll run into bricks that can be broken with sufficient speed and momentum, as well as gimmicks that will mess with your ball of glass. There are also penalty panels that will deduct time from your time limit if you touch them, but there are bricks that will add time if you crash into them. When your marble reaches the end, you get some extra time tacked on and that carries over to the next maze. So speed is of the utmost importance because as you go through the mazes, you'll gradually have less and less time to complete, especially if you play really sloppy. And if you run out of time, the game ends. That is, unless you manage to win the game of chance, which allows you to get a second wine, but that's more based on luck than anything. You do have the option to continue should you fail, but if you do, by the time you reach the end of the course, only your high score gets counted and not the time it took for you to complete the course, should you complete it at all. But if you manage to complete the course on one credit, the game not only records your high score if you reached it, but also the time it took you to complete it, so there's a bit of an incentive to try and do your very best, and try not to fail. Camel Tree uses the paddle or knob controller to rotate the maze around, and as such, control is absolutely perfect. The knob provides precise control so you can manipulate the maze at the speed or pace you prefer. It's not a digital input like a joystick or a D-pad where you have one set speed to turn left or right. You have a little knob or more likely in MAME, you have a computer mouse which is equally effective. In addition, you also have a button to bump the marble in the air for a bit of added momentum. Useful if you want to smash through something or other, though making efficient use of this ability takes a little getting used to. Camel Tree doesn't do much, but what little it does, it does exceptionally well. A concept such as this requires the physics to be top-notch, and I'm happy to say that physics, gravity, inertia, and other scientific terms and aspects too complicated for my feeble brain to spill out are nicely applied here, and they function about as well as you expect them to. And when I say happy, I mean mildly satisfied. Your marble gains speed as it makes long drops down long pits and can be quick enough to smash through certain bricks that are destructible. Slower balls will merely bounce off harmlessly. Speedy balls may resist force beams that push objects in a direction, and if the drop is fast enough, a ball can beat that momentum easily. Guiding your marble to the goal isn't a cakewalk, as it takes memorization and skillful knob turning to reach the end, and with enough time to boot that you'll be able to complete the rest of the course. There's no need to worry about insta-killing hazards or anything of the sort. Your only true enemy in Camel Tree is the clock, and that's pretty much all the game needs to do you in, should your skills be lacking. On the surface, Camel Tree is not a particularly eye-dropping game, and indeed, outside of the super smooth maze rotations whose wow factor wears off after a while, there's nothing about the visuals that will really, really wow you. If anything, it's a fairly pleasant looking game that is colorful, vibrant, easy on the eyes, and pretty much on par with any typical arcade title release in 1989. There is a nice variety of solid object styles and moving backgrounds that provide a nice visual but doesn't detract from the overall experience as far as the gameplay goes. The maze rotates smoothly and manages to maintain its sharpness, no notably jagged edges at odd angles or anything of the sort. Sound is nothing to brag about, some average quality cutesy and fitting melodies and a couple annoying jingles with some tinny sound effects. It's alright, I guess. Not much else to say there, really. Camel Tree is an exceptionally enjoyable little game that's easy to understand and grasp while also being fairly challenging to conquer in the fastest time possible, and this is one that I find myself coming back to every so often. It's simple, straightforward, and just straight up fun. The game was included as part of the Title Legends 2 compilation on PlayStation 2, that's where I first discovered this game, and the analog stick on the stock PS2 controller is a workable but otherwise poor substitute for a proper paddle controller or even a computer mouse which does a better job of faking paddle controls than the analog stick would. There is a port for the Super Nintendo that was redubbed on the ball, and that version supports the SNES mouse for better control, but apparently that version is rare and pricey. 
There's also a remake on iOS if you got one of those things laying around and apparently there's a DS version, under a different name perhaps. In any event, if you enjoy these sort of, sort of games where physics play a major role, then Camel Tree is worth a shot or two. And if you don't care for that sort of thing, give Camel Tree a try anyways, it's a pretty fun game.